Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode, we take a look forward 10 years after we've left the clubs. Of course, in the last episode, we looked at the first five. This will be the second five years. Let's see how they've done. So, of course, last time in the first five years, Sheffield United did manage to win the Premier League title once, uh, the Euro Cup 2 once, and got to a Champions League final, which isn't too bad from five years after a long-term manager has left the club. And they did hire Jurgen Klopp and Massimo Leono Allegri, who they had the most success under with Allegri. Let's see how they got on six years on after we left the club. They finished fourth in the Premier League. And as you can see, Massimiliano Allegri is no longer manager. It is Thomas Tuchel who now manages the club. Let's see what happened to Allegri. He left the manager role. Why? He went to join Barcelona. That's why. So Allegri did have a very, very successful three years with Sheffield United, but then got poached and ended up joining Barcelona, at which point Thomas Tuchel was uh, appointed. The, he won the FA Cup this season, and he also won the Community Shield. In terms of the Premier League, they have dropped 15 points or so from last season, only getting 80 points this season, but still still getting Champions League football, which is the main priority as always. Um, let's take a look at their transfers and see what he managed to do. Was there a big overhaul? There was not after he came in. Who left the club? Martin Ojeda, who we did not sign, an Argentinian left winger for £26 million. Pounds. Anyone were at Erling Haaland on loan to Barcelona. He went and joined Allegri. You never got any game time under Allegri, but he gets game time with Allegri at Barcelona. So maybe we might see a big summer move for Erling Haaland in the next uh, next season or so. He de definitely deserves it. He's been wasted since we've left the club. Renato Sanchez as well spent the season out on loan at Juventus and had a decent season, made plenty of game time for them. Maybe it's time for him to move on with uh, Erling Haaland. In terms of the incumbents, Blas Paz, a decent little right winger from um, Spain, 26 years old, mentals and physicals to die for, technicals are a bit lacking. But um, six Spain caps were signed him from FC Bayern for the exact same price they did. And he didn't do too well. So moving on to Tom Lamatra from Olympic Leon for 40 and a half million. He's a much better winger on the left-hand side this time. Did okay in his first season after joining from Olympic Marseille for 40 and a half million pounds. In terms of the Champions League, where did they come? They got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Atletico Madrid. They did very well in the group stage, actually beating um, Allegri's Barcelona at the first in the group stage. But narrowly beaten in the Milan on away goals, but then get knocked out by Atletico Madrid, which is a bit disappointing. In terms of the players, any of our players still playing? Bella Kotchap still going, Angine still going, Danny almost still getting plenty of game time. He probably picked up an injury this season, only making 18 starts in the Premier League, despite performing pretty well when he got the game time. The likes of Esposito and stuff's dropping out of favour. He's 27 years old now. He is wanted. Maybe it's time for him to move on. Allegri wants him at Barcelona as well. I'm very excited to look at next season. Hopefully Allegri's took some of our boys along with him to Barcelona. Let's move on to season 7. So we're back for another season. How have Sheffield United done this season? They have finished 4th again. I'm not on the exact same season am I? Thomas Tuchel is still manager. He has been manager now for 2 years. They have added another community shield to their belt, which I guess is nice. But fourth again, at least they're getting Champions League qualifications on the regular now. 85 points, 5 points more than they got last season, but still in the same position, which I guess isn't too bad. And most, well, we'll quickly, we'll quickly see how they've done the Champions League. We obviously know they did not win it. They ended up getting knocked out in the semi-final against Lazio. Oh, no, they didn't. They ended up going again. Getting to the final and getting beat by Atletico Madrid again, which they did last season, which is disappointing. But getting to a Champions League final is nothing to sneeze at. I want to say the transfers. Is any of our boys left who should have left? It doesn't. Well, Renato Sanchez left for £15 million. He went and joined Roma and had a terrible time of it. He's getting on now. And I think his attributes are just too poor to keep him going. Erling Haaland actually ended up joining Barcelona on loan once again and again having a fantastic season with Allegri at Barcelona. So why aren't you leaving the club mate? Get sold 50 million, 60 million, whatever it is. Please resurrect your career for one last hurrah. In terms of the others, the likes of Lucas Nunes was one of the youngsters we had. He's on loan at Southampton worth 49.5 million. Get him sold as well. Bring some money into the club. In terms of the incumbents, looks like there's only two. One major one, Nicola... Uh, Simeonov for £96 million pounds from Spurs. He is oh, 
he's unbelievable. One of the best wingers I think I've seen on Football Manager 2020. Um, he didn't didn't set the world alight, but hopefully next season he might do big things at the club. So Sheffield United, six, eight, seven seasons in, is still performing pretty, pretty well. And some of our players are still a key part of that. The likes of Bella Kochap, Danny Olmo, Jerome Jean, even Esposito got a few more games this season. Definitely still four, five, six players involved in Sheffield United who are still a direct influence from us. In terms of next time, eight seasons in, let's see how they got on. Season number eight and Sheffield United came third this season. Thomas Tuchel is still the manager. Has he won any other trophies? He has not won trophies this season, which is disappointing. Where did they come in the Champions League? He ended up getting knocked out in the semis against PSG, which seems to be a recurrent theme for semi-final defeats. In terms of the Premier League, then 85 points last season, 80 points this season, or five points down, but one position above Man City and uh, Chelsea winning the last three. Um, we thought Liverpool might have ended up dominating the game, but it seems they have dropped off and Man City have retaken control of this league. I would like to see them win one more Premier League title before these 10 seasons are up. In terms of the transfers, Erling Haaland, did you get your move, mate? No, you didn't. You went to Napoli on loan this time. I, he's just going to get loaned. Oh, 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 join him permanently. Who is he joining permanently? I'm guessing he's joining Napoli permanently. So he had a great season, two seasons on loan at Barcelona, but instead went to Napoli on loan, had another good season, and it looks like he's joining them permanently for around £37 million. Pounds. I'm glad he's got his move. He's definitely deserved it. He was um, not getting the game time after we left Sheffield United under both Allegri and Thomas Tuchel. In terms of incomings, Troy Parrott for £81 million. Pounds. He's 30 years old. I mean, why? Why would you do that? Surely the board have got the expectation that he don't sign players over 30. Now, I know this guy wouldn't have been over 30 when he signed him, but he's hardly a good fit for a, a Sheffield, a, a, like a Sheffield United model, you know, you know, this team even now still wouldn't won't have the greatest reputation compared to the top sides. You sign players who are under twenty three to make profit for your finances. Never mind, Troy Parrott, everybody, give him a big round of applause. He's nowhere near Christian Dolls levels, and he's only got nine goals and twenty seven appearances. So why they've done that, I have no idea. Twelve million from Alain for an attack. I mean, what is that? That is such a bad signing. Look at the state of him. Flavio Pivarotti got nine starts in the Premier League. He's a dreadful centre back. Twelve million pounds is absolutely shocking. There are some financial schemes going on there because that was not a good signing. In terms of the players, then who's performing best? Christian Dolls. There's a surprise. Why did you sign Troy Parrott for eighty-one million when you've got this guy, probably the best striker in the world? I would imagine 18 goals and 10 assists in 34 Premier League games. Esposito is better than Troy Parrott. I'm saying it. He's better than Troy Parrott. You already had him. The The answer was already right in front of you, Thomas Tuchel. He got 11 goals and 14 starts in the Premier League. What more do you want? Um, our boys. Daniel Moore still getting the game time. We like to see it. Bella Kochap and Onjean still a main steer at centre-back for Sheffield United. Them two. Signed for what? A combined 20 million, 9 million for Jerwan Jean, and what was it? 9 million for Bella Kochap as well. 18 million pounds for two of the best centre backs in the game. Happy days with that. Nine seasons in now. Let's go to the next one. Season nine. Let's see how Sheffield United performed fourth again. They are without a manager. What happened to Thomas Tuchel? Did he get sacked? He did get sacked. Poor performances. Why? Got no idea, but he was sacked. He didn't leave the club. To join the bigger side like Allegri did. He just got sacked. And I'm actually pretty happy about it. He only got three cup wins. He um, made some poor signings in my opinion. English Premier League division than fourth. Is not too bad. 79 points. Um, one point less than last season. But only one position less as well. Still getting Champions League football. I mean that's great as well. I want to see them challenging. We've got one more season boys. I want to see one more Premier League title from you. One more season. Let's have a look at the transfers, see what they did there. Um, Erling Haaland did finally leave the club to join Napoli for £27 million, where he's having a wheel of a time, even at 32 years old. David Batella ended up joining him as well for 13 and a half. Oh my God. Did I just say Jerome Mondrian left the club for six and a half million? I know he's old. I am fully aware he's old. Well, that's just a disrespect to that service he gave this club. 35 years old. 
He, st he was still playing right up until he left. And he was still playing very, very well. In fact, he had a great season the season before he left. I would not have sold him. I would have kept him at the club until he retired, to be quite honest with you. Um, but that's why, you know, maybe Thomas Tuchel was sacked because he's shit in the transfer market. Let's have a look, see what the incomings were like then. Matthew Williamson, an English right back, 28 years old, looks very, very good. Um, but again, another older player, 28, 27 when they signed him for 56 million. Eh, not really my style. Elias Machuca from Chelsea for his 30 years. I don't even want to look. Just keep Jerome on Jean. One more season. One more year. 56 million. Leonardo Bruno, an attacking midfielder from Brazil. Average. I mean, above average, but average. Not world class by any means. I don't see the Sheffield United, United side winning another Premier League title. Um, a good youngster here. Um, he's out on loan at the minute. Maybe he might develop into something special. But yeah, based on the signs over the past couple of seasons, Sheffield United don't have a hope in hell of winning the league. Uh, Christian Dolls still carrying this side. Really, really good player. I'm surprised he hasn't ended up leaving the club and no bigger clubs have came in for him. £89 million was what was spent. And he's been fantastic ever since. Simeonov, one of the best right-wingers I've ever seen on Football Manager this year. Um, he's done one well as well. In terms of any of our guys making, still making a lot of appearances. Um, oh, getting lower and lower down. Bella Kotchap still looks to be one of the mainstays at centre-back. Maybe he might be sold soon. He's starting to lose that stamina. Um, in terms of anyone else, Sebastiano Esposito is not getting the game time anymore. 30 years old. Hot oh, so sad to say. Danny Olmo is getting no game time now. Only started eight games in the Premier League. His physicals have... He's just... He's sunk. He's gone. I hope he retires at Sheffield United, Danny Olmo. He's spent a lot of years with us. Um, so I would like him to retire. Troy Parrott, £81 million. Let's say no more. Season 10. Season 10. The final season we will simulate with Sheffield United. Who was manager? Did they manage to win the league? Let's take a look. They finished third, which isn't too bad. But look at that, man. Let's have a round of applause. Big Phil. Phil Jagielka is manager of Sheffield United. That is a perfect way to end this. He's a fantastic manager as well, by the way. Absolutely brilliant. Big Phil. He starts at Sheffield United, of course, during the start of this year. And he is now manager. That, that, that makes up for any lack of Premier League titles. Big Phil. Hopefully he has a great career. Well, he's not going now because the season ends now. The series finishes now. Premier League table-wise, the finishing third. 88 points, a really good haul. One of the best hauls I've had in a number of years. Only two points off Chelsea, who end up winning the league. In terms of trans... Well, let's take, take a look at the Champions League. I don't think they won it, but let's have a look. They didn't. They got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Bayern Munich. Um, didn't manage to win any of the domestic competitions either. But... Uh, Still, Big Phil's first season. Let's have a look, see what he done in terms of transfers. He sold £68 million worth of talent. £54 million, that was Timothy Winters. None of our boys that I really recognise there. In terms of incomings, let's see if there's any worldies. Hearing a Dutch goalkeeper, he is classed as a world-class goalkeeper. He does look good. Um, it must have been necessary. I can't even remember who was the goalkeeper now. John Pickford must have already retired at this point, I would imagine. Um, Jordan, 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 have you gone? He's gone. No, he hasn't. That's him there. He has retired. He just hasn't took up any coaching roles. Um, who else did the sign? Anybody else decent at all? Oscar Medell for 40 million from Porto, attack midfielder. 29. Come on, Phil. Sign some youngsters, man. Where's the under 23s? Dennis Eskigina for 9.75 million. A decent Croatian striker, 20 years old. I like that side in. Big fan. Um, hopefully he might become some... Well, he's not going to become anything. This is the final one. <laughs> Massimo Paponi, 11.25. Very good defensive mid. He's going to be worldly. You can tell. 18 years old. Perfectionist personality. 19 determination. He's a bit of R8. Marcos Aurelio. I remember seeing him for some reason. Looks decent. Free transfer from AS Monaco. Not a bad signing at all. Did... Danny Olmo make any set, any appearances this season? Uh, Danny? Oh, he retired. No. I was hoping he would have made it. One more season. He retired. Never mind. Danny Olmo. Is there any of our boys? Bella Kotchap, the last remaining survivor who's starting regularly for Sheffield United. 
32 years old now. Really pleased to see him still in the squad. Esposito, another um, saviour. 80, 83 caps for Italy, 44 goals. Still producing the goods in the Premier League. If he's Even if he's not starting every game, that's absolutely fine. And I think them are the only two players who have actually survived since we have left the club. Bella Kotchap, it is. And Esposito, there we go then. That's it with Sheffield United. So 10 years on, they managed to win one Premier League title. Got the two Champions League finals. Won the FA Cup, won the League Cup, won the Euro Cup too. I guess it's not the worst haul in the world. And we did end up, after a brief spell in charge, maybe five years in charge of uh, Sheffield United, we did set them up to be one of the best teams in England. And they approved that by getting them regularly qualified for the Champions League with the odd cup competition win in there. So, if you have enjoyed today's video, this will be the last you'll see of Sheffield United. Please leave a like, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.